Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you around my 1969 Ford 3000 back here. Tell you a little bit about it. So, a little bit about the tractor. I purchased it recently from a place in Petersburg, Michigan. I am technically the third owner, but practically the second owner. I purchased it from a gentleman who had purchased a property from the original owner who I believe had passed away and this tractor was sitting in a barn on that property and they had a new Massey Ferguson compact and weren't interested in this machine so I purchased it off of Facebook marketplace non-running I Brought a truck and trailer, had to winch it on. Uh, they were nice enough to load the, uh, the front part of the loader. It wasn't attached to the tractor when I purchased it. And uh, brought it home and I got it running. Um, what I know about the tractor was it was sold new from JNR Farm Tractor in Monroe, Michigan. And pretty much all the paint on this tractor is original. It's not the best, but it's a pretty low hour tractor. It, it rolled 1800 hours this morning. These rear rims have been replaced. I'll get to that later. Uh, First thing I noticed when I brought it home was, uh, aside from it not running, once I got it running, the clutch was stuck. And most of these old tractors you can usually push the clutch down and push on the brakes and the clutch will break free. But this one didn't. Uh, I ended up having to split the tractor, had to put a clutch disc pressure plate, bearings, and return springs had the flywheel machined. The clutch was totally beyond repair as it was. Uh, I've messed with some of these and I, I've not had any issues in the past, but this one, uh, it had a uh, split battery, so I'm not sure if battery acid had gotten down in it or there was several mouse nests in there. Could it be uh, the mouse urine? that corroded it but it was beyond repair i'll try to insert some pictures of it here but once i got the clutch together there's a few other things i did to it um the rear rims had fluid in them they were a little rusty a little rusty they were they were pretty bad shape. One was rotted pretty bad. The other one uh, wasn't too far uh, behind. Actually, it was rotting from the inside out. Uh, definitely serviceable, but I was able to find this set of rims and I actually had a set of tires and then, of course, the tubes in them over by Cleveland. So I picked those up and swapped, swapped them out actually yesterday and today. These are the original tires on the tractor. So it just rolled 1800 hours. So I did quite a bit of service work to it. I uh, changed the engine oil, added an air filter, of course, the, uh, uh, had to put a battery in it. This front grille was Whole, this whole lower portion here was caved in and so was the, the insert in the middle uh, behind the grill. That was all caved in. I had to do a little body work to get that back out. 
Put a new grill piece in the front. Had to clean the carburetor. Uh, I've never worked on one of these Holley carburetors before. They're definitely a little bit different, but uh, this one wasn't too far gone. I was able to bring it around. Really only had to put a new gasket in it uh, in addition to the cleaning. Had to put a new fuel valve in it, uh, make a new battery cable, some little odds and ends stuff. Really, the, the biggest thing I had to do was put the clutch in it. Uh, now, so I did not put fluid back in the rear tires, so keep this box plate on here and I added some weight to help it out. For the most part, the tractor's really straight. The, the rear fenders are pretty much perfect. Uh, the cowl's really nice, the hood's really nice. Like I said, the grill was kind of messed up. The guy just had it to, from my understanding, uh, mow his laneways and take care of his acreage. I think he had around 80 acres of wood. Um, added a muffler and stuff too, but uh, it's got a uh, Fasco 1200 loader on it. Not a bad little loader, not super heavy built. Has a smaller bucket on it. Uh, I did find some literature. They were available with some wider material buckets and stuff. Uh, kind of a different design. Has these arms and stuff to tilt through a single center cylinder. Uh, this model or version that I have does not have down pressure on the main cylinders. They were available with that, but this one doesn't have it. This is kind of the budget model from my understanding. It's straight four speed, no power steering tractor. Uh, live hydraulics, but does not have live power takeoff. The drawbar did come with it. That's the original, but it was in really bad shape sitting in the floor of a, a dirt floor barn. So I uh, sandblasted painted that. Some people might be curious of the series. C226101, which, if I did my math right, makes this a 69. The loader runs off of two remotes there, so you don't have a joystick or anything, but just these two levers. And then this is your raise and lower for your three point hitch. Pretty standard tractor fire it up for you. Runs really smooth. Never worked on any four three cylinder engines before. Definitely a new experience for me but aside from this area in here being pretty cramped to work in like the electrical and the carburetor and all the linkages it's kind of tight. Uh, aside from that not a not a bad little tractor to work on. Uh, you can hear a little bit of a growling sound. That's the water pump. May have to add one. It's not really loose and it's not leaking, but it is making a little bit of noise. Here's your operator area. You got your clutch, your brakes. You got a fuel gauge, temperature gauge, all this works. Throttle. Steering on the tractor is pretty tight. Has a little bit of slop in the steering box. There's your remotes, your three-point hitch linkage. I'm sorry, your three-point hitch control. I'll uh, raise that up. It moves pretty quick, considering. Now, I know these don't have a, uh, a really fast cycle time on the hydraulics. Sorry, this is kind of in the sun. You might not be able to see it well. But, you know. uh, the gear shift pattern on this is different than anything I've 
really dealt with, kind of, uh, you know, you go first to third to second to fourth, it's kind of an odd, but going from reverse to first isn't really that bad uh, for doing loader work. Second is kind of a hard gear to find because it's floating around in the middle. But take it for a little drive. Pretty good running tractor. It does have a little bog when you really give it throttle. Not sure if that's a Ford thing or something's still wrong in that carburetor, but. Except for when it doesn't. Yeah, that stalled on me. Not sure if we have a fuel issue or what. sure if anybody would be interested in repair videos of any kind of course I did a lot of work on this but I didn't film it uh, definitely something I can do I'm not sure if there's any interest in it or not if there is let me know thanks <laughs>